Heads high is our posture. Against all odds, we gon' prosper. We know our place in this world. We gon' shine our lights till it hurts. Staying focused, we know our day coming. Negative vibes, we escape from it. We know our place in this world. We gon' shine our lights till it hurts. What's good? What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Urban Platform Speaks, man. Uh, this LeBron James situation is is just it's just turning into more and more of a circus, for real. Uh, now I don't know if 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 you heard or not, but Phil Handy, uh, the Lakers, he was in the Lakers, an assistant coach, and he was let go. Now recently. Uh, Phil Handy, you know, like they offered him a position on on JJ Reddick's staff, and and Phil Handy turned it down, and and so I'm thinking that Phil Handy is not interested in being a part of this this LeBron James circus that they got going on. Uh, you know, Phil Handy has years and years of experience as an assistant coach. Um, and so I, I don't think that he, you know, he's interested in in helping JJ Reddick. Uh, you know, like like I, I think this is going to be a sinking ship, and 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 it's a circus, and he don't want to be no parts of it. Like I said, LeBron James bought it. You know, uh, he was instrumental in getting his son drafted. That's not a good look. And then so now you bring in a head coach like JJ Reddick. And J.J. Reddick is definitely going to need, like, he's going to need some coaches around him with experience. And 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 Phil Handy has a lot of experience, but I don't think, and, and Phil Handy definitely don't want to be a part of this. Um, he turned down the offer to come on as an assistant coach. Uh, you know, and so the Lakers, they, re, they fired him when they got rid of Darvin Ham. And so maybe he, he also think that this will be a bad look for him to come back. You know, maybe they think that he or he may think that, you know, Darvin Ham may think that he has something to do. Or he, he conspired with LeBron James and, and uh, Laker management to get uh, Darvin Ham out of there. But um, also you have to remember that Phil Handy is, is a guy who also has uh, inspirations of being a head coach. And so, you know, if if he attached himself to to JJ Reddick, and and then this ship sinks, this might, you know, this might not be good for his career. So, so it, it's definitely not a good look for him to come back after the underhanded way. You know, the Lakers got rid of Darvin Ham, so that's not a good look. And then if he comes back and the Lakers have any kind of success, all the all of the, uh, you know, all the glory is going to go to J.J. Reddick and LeBron James. So that, that you know, to him, that's probably not something that he want to be a part of. And if they had, if they don't have success, then you know, it is is not a good look either way. So, J. Uh, you know, Phil Handy is probably like, you know, I, I, you know, I can get an assistant coach job. You know, he has contacts around the league. I'm sure. And, uh, you know, he's an experienced assistant. So he can get a job somewhere else. This, I think, was a, a good move for him to to decline that offer. And it, it, it just goes to show that, like, this this uh, LeBron James, is, this is a circus, like what the Lakers got going on, um, bringing in people who are not qualified, um, then when he put offers out there to people who are qualified, they don't want any parts of this. And, and Phil Handy is just the latest person uh, to turn down, you know, to decline, to come on and be a part of this circus. I just think, you know, it's it's good for me because it gives me content. You know, it gives me something to, uh, to, to really, to, to, you know, to, uh, to react to, but, I feel bad for Lakers Nation, man, because they have to really put up with this circus that LeBron James got going on over there in LA. I'm 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 surprised. I didn't really think that Lakers management would allow things to get this bad. You know, it's just really looking bad. I I I'm even surprised that they allow uh LeBron to draft his son, 
then they, you know, he was able to get rid of uh, Darvin Ham. Uh, you know, so it's it's a circus. It's a circus over there. And they brought JJ Reddick in, somebody who's, you know, he don't have any any uh, coaching experience. So all of this is just, man, it's a circus. But um, that's my take on it. Let me know what you think. Um, if you think that LeBron James and 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 the Lakers, you know, are just making a bunch of bad moves, um, do you think it was it was wise of Phil Handy not to take this assistant uh, coach position with the Lakers? And I don't think that he would have been able to elevate. You know what I mean? Under these circumstances, you know, he wants a head coach job. I don't think he'd have been able to elevate. Um, maybe you know, especially with all the underhanded things that are going on, you know, with, with the Lakers right now, this is not a good look. You know, people don't want to attach themselves to uh, these kinds of situations. So let me know what your take is. Um, with that being said, uh, like, and subscribe to the channel. Also go to urbanplatformfashion.com and check out the merchandise. We have uh, hoodies, long sleeve t-shirts and short sleeve t-shirts. And with that being said, man, I'll check you all out on the next episode. And don't forget to leave a comment. I'm interested in knowing what your take is on a Phil Handy situation and also this circus surrounding uh, LeBron James. Peace out, and I'll see you all on the next episode.